How's it going? So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is the camera strap. The good old camera strap. So when you have your camera strap on your camera, you wanna keep three points of contact at all times. It's the easiest way to keep a nice, steady shot. When you have your camera strap on and you're looking out like this, as long as you have all hands on your camera, the strap around your neck, there's three points of contact and you can just slowly move the camera however you want, move it around and it'll stay pretty steady. So at the end of the video, I'll show you guys some examples on each one walking outside, just on the sidewalk, or wherever it may be outside in front of my house. Next, the Karma Grip. The Karma Grip is awesome. It's super compact, it's small, lightweight, especially when you're going on like hikes and stuff, or just when you're out and about and you don't wanna carry or lug around a big camera with you everywhere you go. This Karma Grip is awesome for B-roll shots or whatever it may be. It just stays super steady. And I haven't really had any complaints about noise or anything in my camera shots itself. The only thing that I would be concerned about is just with this little bar on the back when you're holding it, this kind of blocks the, the camera view. So when you're out walking around and stuff, it kind of gets in the way, but I love it. It looks super clean too. Next is my Steadicam. I picked this up in like 2009 and I've had this ever since. This is honestly my favorite mechanical steady cam well i guess it's my only so yeah the steady cam i take everywhere with me well i mean i take my camera stuff everywhere i go anyways especially like on hikes i can just pack this onto my the back of my backpack i'm usually carrying it in my hand but this you put your dslr on top and obviously you'll have to balance it out with the knobs on the sides and also the weight on the bottom and how long you have it. And it sits on top and it's super smooth. So when you're moving your camera around, it keeps that steady shot. It's just, I don't know, I love this damn thing. And the next, the tripod. Some of you are probably like, what, what? A tripod's supposed to just stand still. This is just for still shots. Well, I, when I didn't have a steady cam, like the one I do right now, the glide cam for my DSLR. What I did was I mounted my camera on top of my tripod. I would have my camera strap on my camera and I would maintain three points of contact. I'd have them down low. It wouldn't be all the way extended out. They'd be short just like this. And as the camera's looking out straight ahead, I'd have the strap around my neck and I'd hold it just like this. Just a different technique. I don't know if anybody out there has used it or have tried it or uses it all the time, but I used to do that when I was just younger and didn't really have enough money to buy a glide cam at the time. I would take this, my longboard, and just go to town. Just to kind of give you guys an example of what I'm talking about, what you do is you put your camera strap around your neck and I would loosen these up till it's about to the end and it's really far out in front of your face. You'd mount it to the top of your, your tripod. It would work in this scenario if I had the piece that I didn't lose on this tripod. You'd mount it to the top and you'd hold the arms and just kind of move around with it. I used to do this a lot on my skateboards and longboards and stuff when I was a kid doing skateboard videos or whatever I was doing. But this is another good solid way to get some steady shots for your videos. And I'll now show you guys some examples.
Mm-hmm.